cops resigning, crime is at an all time high, Washington is shaky, COVID-19, people aren't working, can't find work, people are living off the government, people are getting more ill by the day. We have shootouts with the police. You have people being killed, gunned down by the police. You have police being killed by civilians. America is now the wild, wild west. You ever watch a Western movie on the Western channel? It is a shootout right outside the bar a hotel we're living in that era but on a major scale not just on the west coast not just arizona not just parts of texas because there's a law if i'm not mistaken in texas that goes into effect soon that allows everyone to conceal carry Correct me if I'm wrong or I'm off just by a little bit, but I know that's a law that is going into effect or it may be in effect already. That is going to turn Texas into the wild, wild west. These lawmakers have done everything they can do. To create war, to create animosity, to create fear. Why are you changing laws to where it can lead to war? It's like it's being planned. On top of all of that, you have the hot weather, not just in California. Not just in Nevada, Colorado, it's nationwide. You have rivers drying up on the West Coast. You have heat advisories every single day. You have a country that's on the verge of another lockdown. Many people have changed since the pandemic, or should I say, pandemic. You have the forced injections, or should I say, jabs, for the sake of my channel. Say jabs. You have people who refuse to take the jab. I'm one of them. But my strategy isn't to go out into the street and cause mayhem. There's going to be a lot of people who do that. Because of whatever reason they have. So therefore, you need to be handy with the steel. Just like in the medieval era, you had master swordsmen. You need sharpshooters. You need to know how to shoot. You need to know how to defend yourself. We are headed into the era where you're going to have to put your money where your mouth is. America is officially the wild wild west look at black america children being shot in the head by stray bullets shootouts selling dope on the corner some of these neighborhoods got so many crackheads that it looks like thriller at nighttime a thriller night so many crackheads in their neighborhood it looks like a thriller night you need your weapon you need your pistol. You need to be going to the shooting range. Your mind should be on defense protection. 
because we're in that era. We're in that era. You have cops resigning. You have cops quitting, cops being fired, cops being sent to trial for whatever. There's a problem with law enforcement. So people are going to have to take the measures into protecting themselves. You can't rely on the government. It's going to be a time where you can't rely on the government. We are in the wild, wild west era in America. You have people dying on the freeway. Driving down the freeway and they get shot in the head. Somebody is in the bushes on the side of the freeway and shooting at cars. You have that going on in Los Angeles. Just because you have a weapon doesn't make you invincible. Always remember that. But you can protect yourself. You value yourself. You value your belongings. You're not going to allow someone to come and take what you have. You're not going to allow someone to put a gun on you or do whatever they want to you. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't know what era we are in and they will be a casualty of war. Again, it's not my fault that you have the information at your fingertips and you don't use it. It's your fault. It's too late in the game to not know what's going on or at least have an idea on what's going on because it's dangerous out here. Society have changed. I see more Looney Tunes in the streets, meaning crazy people now. This pandemic has turned a lot of people crazy, like they were locked down and caged like animals. So now you have people doing jewelry store sweeps. You have security guards having to shoot people. You have people shooting security guards. You have people trashing beauty supplies, fighting the management at the beauty supply store, the weed spot. It's crazy out here. You got to be handy with the steel. And again, just because you have weapons, you have ammunition, doesn't make you invincible. Okay? You're just able to protect yourself. You're able to return fire. You're able to not be taken advantage of. You're able to be in a shootout because we are in the wild, wild west, a.k.a. shootout era. You had a infant and father dead after incident at apartment in Atlanta. There's so many stories of people being killed at home, at their house, at their apartment. You had a brother by the name of Desmond Hamilton killed in his own home by a 17 year old boy that was banging his 14 year old daughter sneaking through the window you had another story i covered some savage knocked on the door no excuse me demon knocked on the door Stepped in the house when they opened the door. I don't know why they opened the door for a stranger. Kills the dad, kills the mom, kills one of the children and two survive. A girl and her younger brother. She's seen all of it. Played dead. She has to deal with that. For the rest of her life. She has to remember that for the rest of her life. 
That's why I was so proud of the brother in the Fairfax district for shooting at those savages that that jumped out of the car while he was talking to those two black helpers that obviously set him up because they ran in the same direction with those savages. He was in a basketball jersey, cut off jean shorts, some Nikes. He was fresh. He had his pistol on him. He knows what time it is. That's a middle class, upper class neighborhood and he still had his thing on him. He still had his hammer on him. He understands the era that we are in. I told you guys this. When my balcony is open, I walk around with my pistol in its holster. Even in good neighborhoods, the savages creep and they crawl. It may be a shootout for you to protect your shit. The Wild Wild West isn't just in the West anymore. It's in the Midwest, the North, the South, the East, the West, the desert, the city, the suburbs, the urban community, the ghetto. It's a Western movie taking place all over America. So you need to be prepared. You need to be ready. You need to be physically ready. You need to be mentally ready to go. You never know. It's a killing field out here. And the average person who's getting got is the average person who's not prepared. When I seen that brother in that Charlotte jersey and he returned fire on point. And I know we can critique it to we can critique it to a T. He shouldn't have ran. He should have held his ground and returned fire and buried both of them. No, he did the right thing. He got out of there alive. He got his shots off first. It was beautiful. It was beautifully executed. He did not need to stand there and kill them both. He got them out of there. Hopefully he does not live in that that area. But even if he does, I'm pretty sure they won't be back. He got heat and a killer instinct. Hey, Genix, you going on? That was smooth. He's a smooth man. Salute to that brother. I take my hat off to him. He knows it's the wild, wild west. He was not dressed like a gang member. He was from L.A. And that proves everything I've been saying. Listen, he was ready to go and he was pretty much dressed like a black hipster, LA hipster in style. Clothes fit on him, not sagging. Straight coast and West Coast relaxing. It's hot. Got his shoulders out, chilling and some haters pull up and try to get him and he got them before they could get to him. He pulled his Glock out or whatever he had, and he opened fire. He opened fire because he knew what time it was. He understand the era that we are in. They played him for a sucker. If looks could kill, that should be the name of what happened in Fairfax. If looks could kill because you would not think that he had a weapon on him. Also, before before I uh, forget this, because since it popped in my mind, I might as well say it. They have cameras that detect guns now, meaning if you have a gun concealed, the camera can detect it. So now it's going to be even tough to maneuver with your hammer. It's going to see 
they're trying to do everything to disarm the citizen and it's getting ready to be on and popping and to see that brother in the Fairfax district be able to protect himself to his fullest potential his fullest ability was sweet science was a thing of beauty to be young and to be aware of the times i'm not going to be too long on this video i just wanted people to be prepared hopefully you have some type of protection a weapon because it's the wild wild west and as the next lockdown come and restrictions get tougher and harder and We're going to see a different America. Mark my words. I'm out.